Hey Blade HQ Nation, Jaren and Mark here, bringing you another comparison test. That's right, this time it's all about blade steel and how they hold up against rust. Now, for this test we use time-lapse photography, setting up our camera to take a picture every minute for three days. And during that time, we sprayed our steel over and over again with regular tap water. And we chose to test six different steels. Those were OS8, 440, D2, LMAX, 1095, and 8CR14 MOV. All right, let's see what happened. All right, so as you can see, the only still that started to rust was 1095, which is why knives of this steel type usually come with protective coating on them as they're the most vulnerable to rust. However, 1095 is still a great steel. It holds a really good edge. It's just one that you have to take proper care of. So against clean tap water, all these steels did really well. Let's see what happens when we switch our solution to saw water. Now we ran the same test over three days. So let's check and see what happened. Well, as you saw, none of the steels came through without any rust. Even the stainless and super steels did eventually rust. Yeah, really the only blade that won't rust is a ceramic blade, which is why they're often used by divers. And to be fair, our solution was really diluted with salt, and you might never end up using your knife around the ocean. However, even rainwater mixed with the minerals and dirt can be nearly as caustic to your blade. Now, if your blade does get rust on it, it isn't ruined. Check out these before and after. We took a little steel wool from medium to fine grit and were able to clean up the blades with very little effort. But if you don't want to have to use elbow grease or power tools to clean up your knife, you should use a protective agent like Tough Glide or one of these other lubricants. Well, thanks for watching and make sure you stay tuned for other great Blade HQ videos. We'll see you next time. My name is Rick Hinder with Rick Hinder Knives and um, uh, I've been making knives for 28 years now. Most of my designs have really come about in the, probably the past 10 years.
Uh, I'm a farm boy. I, I pretty much born and raised on a farm uh, in different farms moving around. 